Hey folks, I'm Jim Delisalo with Audioholics. I wanted to do a little follow-up addendum to the last video that I did telling you guys how to best set up your Oro 3D and your Dolby Surround Up Mixer for mixing music, for two-channel music, mixing it up to use all your speakers. So I did some more research and I was lucky to have one of our patrons actually do some testing for me because he was using his Oro 3D setup. And as you guys know, as I covered in the last video, there's different room size that you could set in the Oro 3D. You could set it for medium, small, or large. And there's even some extra modes like speech, like you could see here in this Marantz uh, den and setup. So in the case with my Storm audio processor, I noted in the last video that when I set it for medium mode, it sucked out kind of all of the main left and right imaging and dumped it into the center channel. And I showed that measurement where there was a notch response as well. Well, doing some more digging, um, there was a guy on our Patreon channel. His name is Old and Slow Dev. So I really appreciate you doing this. He's got a Yamaha RXA 8A. And he went and tested the latest Oral 3D upgrade. And he did not have that issue that I noted with um, setting it to the medium size setting. So that made me wonder, was there something going on with the implementation of my Storm processor? Or is it possible that there's different versions of Oro? So the guys at uh, Storm Audio reached out to Oro and they basically confirmed that there's different versions of Oro, just like there's different versions of Dolby Atmos. So in the Storm ISP, it uses one called version two which is more geared towards up mix and cinema content. So basically um, that processor has V2, whereas some of the newer receivers like the Yamahas, maybe even the Sound United products have version three. So version two was basically the first gener generation of center processing that's been added for the medium preset. So it's only in the medium preset, the small and the large presets don't do this. Small and large are basically exempt from this center processing. So if you will, the medium mo mode is acting like a center spread off feature for Oro compared to what Dolby Atmos is doing with center spread on and off. So um, definitely, if depending on what processor you have or what receiver you have, you might get different results from what I got with my setup. So I just wanted you guys to realize that um, in most cases, if you're listening to music, I would still recommend using the large or small setting. And if you're watching more uh, TV program material that you're up mixing from two channel to, to all your speakers or even just up mixing 5.1 um, to your height channels to add that into the layer, you could go and use the medium preset if you're watching TVs or movies. But generally speaking for music, I would still recommend using the small or large setting. And of course, with Dolby Atmos, turn the center spread on feature when you're up mixing two channel music. And just so you guys know, Dolby Atmos went from version 1.3 now to version 1.8 over the last five years. So we're seeing all of these uh, Kodaks go through iterations from product generation to product generation. And I'm hearing now that Dolby is about to release a new version that's gonna incorporate the wide channels more. So we'll see, I don't know a whole lot about that. And I don't wanna give a lot of rumor kind of stuff here. I wanna be able to back it up with facts. So anyways, I hope you guys found this video useful. Don't forget about our Patreon channel at patreon.com slash audioholics. We appreciate your support. You get direct access to me if you want to suggest video topics or if you just want to ask questions in the uh, chat that we have on our Patreon page. We appreciate your support. And until next time, my friends, keep listening.